Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing my August 2017 DVD and Blu-ray update video. So, I've gotten quite a few things over the past month. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is... So this is a Disney Channel original movie, a double feature of Hatching Pete and Dad Napped. I actually got this at Goodwill for $2, and... It definitely works, I checked it out and everything, but I am actually really happy to get this. At one point, which I kinda, kinda slacked on it, I was trying to get a lot of the Disney Channel original movies because, well, that was back whenever they released the the 100th Disney Channel original movie. They had done a bunch of releases. I would gotten really into them again. But this adds two more of them to my collection. I really wish that they would release some of them on DVD or Blu-ray, which Blu-ray is a little, a little iffier. But I wish they would release some of the, the older ones on DVD because those are some of the ones that I really enjoy. Alright, so the next thing that I got is from the eBay store that I was mentioning earlier. And this is called... My Little Eye. So I have not watched this yet, but I bought this as a... I was listening to a podcast called Shockwaves, which is a podcast all about horror movies and stuff like that. And this movie has been brought up quite a few times. <clears throat> has been brought up quite a few times. So I figured I would buy it and give it a shot. I think it was like less than four dollars so that was pretty cool but from my understanding it's kind of like a big brother type scenario like big brother the tv show type scenario where people live in this establishment for however long and they don't really have contact with the outside world but i look forward to checking that out i believe that bradley cooper is actually in there as well so he's probably the biggest name in here it's not listed on the back, but I am pretty sure that's what they said on the uh, podcast that he was in this. So, I also picked this up from the eBay store, and this is Survivor All-Stars, the complete series, and it comes with seven discs. So, I mean, this is kind of not very economical uh, to have seven individual discs. But I was really big into Survivor. I haven't really been watching it the past couple of years, but these are all the old school ones, so I am happy with this. I picked this up for less than $6, and all of the discs are pretty much in brand new to like new condition. No scratches or anything. There is a little bit of condition issue with the outside case if it focuses like the thing is bent up but that's really not that big of a deal stuff like that happens like on the shelf so i'm not too worried about that so this is actually pretty cool as well i picked this up right before i left to go to back to school and Walmart had it for like had it on their website for like $22 or something like that so I was able to price match that in stores and I was able to get it so this is a Friday the 13th of the series the complete series so this has all three seasons on it and this has nothing to do with Jason Voorhees if you are not familiar and the one weird kind of weird thing is that when you open it up, like, the whole disc thing comes out, which is kind of weird. It is a 17 disc set, so it is definitely quite the the set. I watched it all, I watched pretty much all of the first discs so far. And it's definitely an interesting show. It basically revolves around these people, I think it's a brother and sister maybe and then some other guy I don't remember how he is real he fits into the entire picture but their uncle dies mysteriously and he owned an antique shop supposedly he sold his cell uh his 
sold to the devil or something like that. And all these items in his antique shop are like possessed. And all items he's ever sold are like that. So they are have to go through his like log books of every sale that he's made and track down these items because they are wreaking havoc and stuff. So it's an interesting concept and I definitely look forward to watching it. The DVD is kind of like, nah, the quality is a little iffy, but I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool. All right, so then this next one, I have the first season, so now I've got the second season, but this is uh, Punked, so this is MTV's Punked, and I definitely look forward to watching this. It was always a, a really fun show to watch celebrities freak out when they think that something uh, crazy is happening. And then I have, so these three things go together, I had the first season last month, and now I have the next three seasons. So this is also from the eBay store. But we have Alias Season 2, and this is the complete set. I want to say this was around $5, probably less than $5. Um, right there is Jennifer Gardner. And I definitely look forward to uh, watching this. Hopefully, uh, it's pretty good since I bought pretty much the entire series. Then we have Alias Season 3. I did have an issue with my uh, first Alias Season 3 that I purchased. Uh, the condition was not very good. It was less than... Uh, like, they said that the condition was very good. It was probably more like good to acceptable. So I sent them a message and they were, uh, took them a few days to get back to me, but they apologized and they refunded me my money. So then I had just went and they told me I could keep the, uh, other season. So I have that, um, but I just rebought the season and this one came and it is, I mean, there's a couple issues, but I would say that it is still considered very good. The only issue that I saw was like the, uh, this plastic on the very first one is kind of cracked, which is whatever, but it is in, all the discs are in very good condition and that are pretty much like new condition and that's pretty much the main thing, so I'm not too worried about that. And then we also have Alias Season 4. So, this is pretty cool. I mean, the weird thing about these last two seasons are the way that they open, they open through the bottom, so that's kind of strange. But, uh, they did have a, there, there is a Alias Season 5. The store did not have that one, so I wasn't able to get it, and it looks like it's about $20 on Amazon, so I will probably be trying to find it on eBay at some point. But I figured I would let myself get through at least the first four seasons before I start looking for the fifth. And then the last DVD that I got, I got this at Dollar Tree. And this, I don't know, it's something that interests me. Um, it's called Death Row. A History of Capital Punishment in America. So this is a six-part documentary series. It was put out by Mill Creek. Um, I don't know exactly what, like, where this aired. If it aired on, like, TV or anything. But the thing that pretty much interested me the most was it lists all six of the parts in it. And the first one is... 400 years of capital punishment in America, and then now the ones that, the next ones are the ones that like really piqued my interest. I believe this was only like $5, but it is Executing Serial Killers Part 1 and Executing Serial Killers Part 2. Uh, that was pretty much the one thing that sold me on it. Alright, so now on to Blu-rays. So the first Blu-ray is one that I got at Dollar General, and this is what happens in Vegas. So this is also an upgrade to my collection. I 
uh, had the DVD and I needed one because I've been getting these um, $3 off of 15 that I can find at Dollar Tree or Dollar General, sorry. And so I needed one and I still don't have, or I didn't have What Happens in Vegas on DVD or Blu-ray, so I decided to pick it up and upgrade my copy. This one is also an upgrade and this is the remake of The Pink Panther. So this has Steve Martin in it and it has Beyonce and I believe this is one of Beyonce's first like acting roles. She hasn't done too much acting since, but I think that was one of her first. This one was also an upgrade and one that I picked up at Dollar General, and this is Jumper. I actually really like this movie. It is basically about this guy who is born with this power that he's able to like teleport anywhere that he wants. And people in the like government or some sort of secret organization or whatever pretty much take notice and they start trying to hunt him down so he has to try to figure out what to do after that. Uh, I bought this off of eBay. I This is also an upgrade to my collection. I sold the DVD to this so I decided I would pick up the Blu-ray and this is Hall Pass and I got was able to get it in the slipcover and it came with the digital copy still intact so I redeemed that earlier this month or last month and then I picked up Footloose and so I had sold this DVD as well I ended up picking this up I believe I actually got this from the eBay store that I've gotten most of, or a bunch of stuff from and I had, did have an issue with this movie not from the eBay store but I had bought it from somebody else and they said it was a like new thing and they never mentioned that the um, that it was only one disc. So whenever I got it, I only it only had the it was in a Blu-ray case and it only had the DVD in it. So I was like, "What the heck? This isn't what I paid for." So I emailed them and they refunded me and I they let me keep the um, thing. So that's that's pretty cool. And then I picked this up from Dollar General as well. This is the Ant Bully. I remember watching this and I actually really liked it. It has some pretty big name people in the uh, voice cast. It's got Julia Roberts, Nicolas Cage, Meryl Streep, Paul Giamatti, and Bruce Campbell, Regina King, and Lily Tomlin. And so it's got a pretty big cast. And I actually really, I remember really enjoying it when I first watched it. Next up, I have an import. So I actually sold this movie on eBay and was able to, well, I bought it on Amazon UK. And this is called Transit. And this looks like it is region... B, so it's locked for B. I really wanted to pick it up. One thing I noticed, I don't know if this is just a UK thing or if it's just the ones that I've been purchasing, but like the cases are like bigger than a regular Blu-ray case. I don't know if you can tell. It's almost like two times the size. So, and every one that I've gotten from the UK, every like Blu-ray that I've gotten from the UK is twice the size, like in an extra large Blu-ray thing, and it's kind of weird because it's just, just that. So I don't know if that's a, a UK thing or not. I guess let me know if you know about that in the comments. Um, it'd be kind of interesting to find out. So then I went to... Big Lots, and they got in a recent shipment. I was not able to find the one that I wanted, which some people were reporting on Blu-ray.com, which is in the um, description. I leave that in the description. But they were reporting on there that they had found the complete series of Freaks and Geeks for $3 at Big Lots on Blu-ray from Scream Factory, or well, Shout Factory, 
and I pretty much went to a Big Lots, uh, well, two Big Lots back at school every day for several for several days, but I was unable to find it, so I did pick up two other things though. These were new, and the first one is One Hour Photo, which is actually a really cool Robin Williams movie. It's one that you don't, he plays a character that is very different than anything that he's played before, and it is a thriller. He plays a photo, like a photo clerk person, at a like superstore and he kind of becomes obsessed with these this family that comes and brings their photos in to have them developed. And then I also picked up Cheaper by the Dozen 2, which I believe this is the only one in the Cheaper by the Dozen, well there's only two movies, but I think this is the only one on Blu-ray. The other one I do not believe is on Blu-ray, which is kind of weird. But I definitely wanted to pick this one up at least. Um, it's got Eugene Levy in it, and I am a big Eugene Levy fan. I really liked him, or I really liked his new show, Shit's Creek. So then, this is also a upgrade to my collection. I sold the DVD, and now I picked this one up. And this is Beneath the Blue. I have not watched this. But it's got Paul Wesley in it, and something, I mean, there's dolphins, so that's pretty cool. So I had got this pre-ordered. So this is the second in the series, and this is from Shout Factory. And, and this is Digimon Adventures Try Determination. So this is the second in the six-part movie series that they did based off of the first two seasons of Digimon Adventure. So they kind of, it's kind of cool. I don't know how, I don't know how to, I feel about the animation of it yet. I did watch the first one which was Digimon Adventure's Tri Reunion and I think what helped was the people that came back, like the voice actors that had come back to revoice their characters. I was kind of taken out of it when they had the people that did not come back, so I could definitely tell that their voices were different and that kind of, uh, it just made me a little sad and took me out of the movie, but hopefully uh, this one will be a little bit better that way, so, I don't know. Alright, and then I also picked up two, well, three superhero movies, which I don't typically do, but I sold one of my shirts that I got from Nerdblock, R.I.P., because um, they're no longer around, but I sold one of the Doctor Strange shirts that I got from them. And I decided that I was going to get Doctor Strange on Blu-ray. So I went on eBay and I got this. This was about $13. I got it brand new. So that was pretty cool. I have not seen Doctor Strange, but I look forward to watching it at some point. At one point, I was trying to watch the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe in order. And I think I got to like Iron Man 2 or 3. Because I remember it was definitely an Iron Man movie, and I was just like, I don't know if I can do this. So I ended up stopping. But I definitely need to go back and look into it, because I... I actually really like the superhero movies once I start watching them, but before I watch them, I... It's kind of like, uh, I don't really... I don't know if I want to watch this. And then these last two are superhero movies and I actually got these as part of the Disney Movie Club. I have been a member of it for like one and a half years and the way that it happens is you can, and there's a link to the in the description about it, um, just read through my thing, and you can get, I think it's like four movies for a dollar. So each one's like 25 cents 
and the whole catch behind that is you have two years to purchase movies at full price to get because you have three different you have a commitment of three movies buying three movies at full price and every month or so they have a feature title which is something big probably usually a new release but they have these feature titles and they're about thirty dollars which is pretty high but sometimes you can add on like a second movie for five more dollars or so so i think i paid thirty five dollars for both of these and with shipping it came out to be about forty dollars but the first one i picked up was well, I guess they came together. So, it's Guardians of the Galaxy, and this is the 3D Blu-ray of it. So, I think I've seen about 10 minutes of this when I went and tried to watch it at a thing at school, and that didn't really work out. But I picked it up. A lot of people really like this, so I figured I would give it a shot. And then the other one, I'm sure you can guess, is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So, I was able to pick these up and I was actually pretty happy because um, Guardians of the Galaxy had just come out it was probably about twenty dollars and then Guardians of the Galaxy 3D I'm sure is pretty expensive as well and I actually might be finishing my last commitment by getting the new Lion King that came out so hopefully that I will get that at some point and then also with this came with these uh, Guardians of the Galaxy came a free lithograph, but I guess they had some sort of delay, and I won't be getting the lithograph for a couple more weeks. So hopefully once I get that, I'll be able to show you guys everything that that is about. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully my September Blu-ray and DVD update won't be really late. I'm going to try to film it at school if I can, but if not, then I will have to wait until I come home, and I'm not sure when that will be, but just be on the lookout for it, and hopefully I won't be too busy at school, and I'll be able to start uploading on a little bit of a more regular schedule. Because I have a bunch of VHS hauls that I haven't up, uh, uploaded yet and a couple other things. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Let me know what you think about what I got in the uh, comments below. But thanks.